Speaker Oko Jumbo, Amehule, and 24 others, Rivers Assembly seats vacant since 2023 December defections. And now to the news in full. The Victor Oko Jumbo led River State House of Assembly has reaffirmed its stance that the legislative seat of factional speaker Martin Amewule and 24 others remain vacant following their defection from the People's Democratic Party PDP to the All Progressive Congress APC. This seat, the Assembly insists, must be filled through a by election conducted by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. INEC will go Reagan for you now. now. This development comes after the Amewule led Assembly on Tuesday declared the seat of the Chief of Staff to Governor Timin Alai Fubara Edison Ehe and three other pro Fubara lawmakers vacant, citing their absence from sitting for 152 days. During the plenary, Amewule stated that Ehe failed to probably notify the House of his new office, which led to the declaration of his seat as vacant. He further noted that Oko Jumbo and two others were absent from sittings for 152 consecutive days without notification or permission, a violation of the 1999 constitution. The Amewule led house held three separate votes to declare their seats vacant. Reacting to the development, Prof. Barra Speaker Victor Okojombo in a statement explained that the 25 legislative seats were initially declared vacant on December 13, 2023 by the dense recognized speaker, Heisin, Edison, Hehe. The Assembly expressed frustration with INEC's delay in conducting by-elections to fill the vacant seats because we all know that, we know the people controlling INEC, so mm, even if they conduct the election for you, what is the assurance that they are not going to make the election? Oko Jumbo criticized INEC's failures to act since December 13, 2023 which he said has allowed Amewule and his committee of friends to create unnecessary distractions. He called on INEC to fulfill its constitutional duties to the people of River State by organizing the required by-elections. Oko Jumbo said, please, we call on the 11th day of December 2023, Martin Chike Amewule and 24 others defected from the People's Democratic Party that sponsored their elections into the River State House of Assembly to the All Progressive Congress their defection was headline news and widely reported in print and electronic media. On the 13th day of December 2023, the defection by Martin Chike Amewule and 26 others was further cemented in an affidavit deposed to by Martin Chike Amewule when in suit number FHC slash ABJ slash CS slash 1681 slash 2023. Martin Chike Amewule and 26 ORS versus INEC and 5 ORS in paragraph 15 thereof, he deposed as follows that faced within with the state of uncertainty and confusion in the second defendant, People's Democratic Party, caused by division in the political party. The plaintiffs were forced by the state of affairs within the second defendant to defect and join the All Progressive Congress, APC. On the 13th day of December 2023, retired Honorable Edison Ogerenye Ehe, as then Speaker, declared the seat of Martin Chike Amewule and 24 others in the River State House of Assembly vacant and called on the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, to conduct by elections to fill their vacant legislative seats. This has not been challenged and set aside by any court of law. Subsequently, I was elected as the Speaker of the River State House of Assembly myself, and the members of the River State House of Assembly have been piloting the affairs of the River State House of Assembly, including passing resolutions and screening various eminent persons as commissioner nominees and recommending them to His Excellency, the Governor of River State, to be appointed and sworn in as commissioners, among others. Truths and facts are constant, sacrosanct, and indelible. The fact of the defection by Chike, Amawule, and 24 others cannot be erased by pretenders like Martin Chike Amawule and his committee of friends. Today, the 15th day of October 2024, Martin Chike Amawule and 24 others who cease to be members of the River State House of Assembly on December 11, 2023, purportedly declared vacant the legislative seat of retired Honorable Victor Okojombo and others as members of the River State House of Assembly. They have no such powers. 
This is an exercise in futility. It is a joke taken too far. I don't understand how somebody that has defected is now coming to say that somebody's seat is vacant. Your own seat too has been vacant since 2023. You left, you defected to another party. So what mouse do you still have to come and say that somebody seat is vacant? You are supposed to be gone and forgotten. What are you looking for? It is a joke really taken too far. As a retired honorable speaker of the River State House of Assembly, I call on INEX to immediately conduct a by-election to fill the legislative seat declared vacant on December 13, 2023. I also call on Nigerians and the good people of River State in particular to ignore the vituperations and ranting of Martin Chike Amorule and his committee of friends. They are not members of the River State House of Assembly, not to talk of having the power to declare vacant the legislative seats of legitimate assembly members who have remained steadfast and did not defect like them, he added. Exactly. Recall that the Amerule led assembly had previously suspended Heye, Oko Jumbo, and two others following the courses that rocked the state assembly after an explosion at the hallowed chambers of the River State House of Assembly complex on October 29, 2023. However, it remains unclear whether the suspended members were reinstated before their seats were declared vacant. I don't understand. You defected to another party. When you were still in PDP, you went to APC. And then you want to come back again and start controlling PDP. Where is that done? It is not done anyway. And it is in the constitution that once you leave to another party, you cannot come back. So what exactly are you looking for? What are you looking for? Dua Frey says, soon I will call for election for this four seats within... 90 days, something that they have been calling them to do since. Emeka Obisike says this is the problem. There are no more legislators, but Abuja judges are under bandage to keep them answering legislators. Because I don't understand why the INEC is even delaying in the first place. This people left since December 2023 and we are in October and yet they have not done an election to, 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 to put other people there. Peace Ozema says shame on Amewole and co. After defecting from PDP to APC, we can just deceive you guys because you are following him sheepishly. Now you can go and read your constitution, but it is too late. Exactly. It is in the constitution. It is wicked that is giving them liver because if not, why would you even still go back? And you, that you are supposed to have left the party, is now declaring another person sits vacant. It is because there is no law and order in this country. Nobody fears anybody. Nobody, everybody thinks they can do what they like. You've left. What are you looking for again? Declaring another person seats vacant as per who you be. Who are you? You are no longer recognized. So go back to your APC and go and go and start making mouth there. My listeners, over to you. Leave your thoughts in the comment section. Do not forget to like, to share, and to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for listening. See you some other time. Bye.